everyone, you are watching the D Rocks TV show D R O C K Z D R O C K Z TV show. Is it Friday yet? Well, today it's Saturday and um, it's the weekend. So weekend is my uh, skin routine time, and uh, I'm going to apply um, you know a lot of mask today just to show it to you how to make your own. Uh, you know, do it yourself, uh, DIY, homemade mask, and uh, how to take care of your um, skin uh, in a very um, holistic way, and by not using too many chemicals. So uh, lately, I've been doing um, a lot of photo shoots, and I make a lot of videos at home for products and for for a lot of brands. So uh, I'm, I always have to put on a lot of makeup, and um, although I do a good job in cleaning it up. I did see some breakouts um, recently, as you can see it. So then I thought, let me take a break. And every time I, I apply a lot of makeup and I get breakouts, uh, I like to do some treatments at home. Uh, some like sometimes I even use tea tree oil, uh, but I like to put mask so that my skin kind of becomes uh, it just gets back to business. So um, without any further ado, what I'm going to show you today is. How to um, how to make all of these masks at home, and I have some of these ingredients here. And I don't know if you can see it yet, but they are all placed right here. And um, what I'm going to do is first first thing is I'm going to take this ice cube that I made out of tomato cucumber, and I'm going to quickly rub it here. It's called ice therapy, and I would recommend all of you guys to do it. A lot of celebrities are doing it. So pretty much some of the stuff, the tricks that I'm showing you, you must have seen in a uh, few videos that celebrities have posted recently. So I have experimented it myself. So I would give it a thumbs up. So all you have to do is just rub and rub it fast because uh, what ice does is uh, it helps in blood circulation. And I know it's not a very um, maybe you can keep like. A, you know, some kind of uh, just keep your bowl probably here. So what I does is it helps in blood circulation. It's not um, it's not the best experience, but you, if you just rub it fast, I think it will be okay. Um, and maybe it will take you a few maybe a few days to get used to it. Uh, I've been using ice therapy from last four or five days now, and I have started to get used to it, and I like it. Um, I have seen some difference like a uh, few of the breakouts that I had here they were like um, bigger and now they are setting down because probably this is my fifth day today using it so and it also helps to absorb your mask or any serum or anything that you apply right after this ice therapy it kind of absorbs faster so that's the reason I like to rub ice before putting any mask and as you can see it's already starting to turn red. Uh, that means it's doing what you want it to do, which is to improve blood circulation. Let it turn red. And just keep. Uh, I, I, you know, try to avoid this area, the nose and head, because if I have sinus, so if you have sinus issues, maybe just stick to the sides and your jawline and neck. So what I'm going to do is right after this, I'm going to wash my face and get back to you guys, um, so that you don't have to keep watching me doing this, and I will show you the result of this ice therapy right after this and then we get into mask. Alright, so once you're done rubbing the ice cube, you would see that the cucumber and tomato would kind of, um, the remainder would come out on your skin here. Um, if you wish, you can keep it for a bit. Uh, I normally like to keep it for 5 minutes before I wash it off, but now I'm going to wash it with cold water. Don't uh, be the purpose, don't wash it with hot water because you did you just did ice therapy so you have to wash it with cold water again uh, just so that everything is absorbing uh, so let me just get back to you so the first mask is um, my favorite one which is um, well it's I would call it more like a skin tightening treatment and cleansing for this first one so what you do is um, you know uh, I normally uh, do like orange juice in the morning and I also uh, make our usual lemon tea, uh, hot water and lemon. So what you can do is instead of throwing that uh, lemon and probably a little bit of orange left and like the like the peel, you can collect them. So I take the peel and I kind of 
because peel has the most vitamin C so I I do cleansing with this and because we just put ice we just did ice therapy anything I put on my skin right now there'll be a block part so if you want the vitamin C to go you can literally uh, uh, rub, rub it more from the back side I just realized I was rubbing on the wrong side because this has the most so just take the peel and just rub it on and yeah you I can totally uh, smell that orange fragrance you can just who knew that you know orange has a lot of added value like you can make juice and then don't throw all of the remainder and just uh, you're good to go you can use it for skin tightening for cleansing so this is just like giving me some vitamin C and uh, what I've done with the remainder of the peel is I have uh, made it in powder form uh, it didn't come out completely in powder form but yeah, you know it's like very minute and then I'm going to show you the mask out of that but before I do that I'm just quickly showing you what I'm doing with this Pulp, pulpy orange I'm literally just rubbing it on my skin just like ice therapy and what's going to happen is if you keep this kind of pulp on your face for 10 minutes orange has um, property of skin tightening so literally in 10 minutes you would feel that your skin is going to be feeling that tightness and then you can wash it off so uh, I'm coming closer to the camera so you can see I'm literally just rubbing it it's that easy so you're taking vitamin C directly uh, I do use a lot of vitamin C serums too when I don't have time to make orange juice or take this orange uh, the remainder of orange I, I do use a product from companies uh, but I mean, I, I'm nobody to judge. I'm not saying that, you know, vitamin C available in the market, they are not good. I'm sure they are good too because even I use them. So I think we should do a combination. You should sometimes do all of these homemade stuff, and you, especially uh, when you have a lot of time in hand. And if you don't have, then just use the, keep like a vitamin C serum as well uh, of any company that you like. And uh, that way, you will always get vitamin C. Okay. So now I have most of it and uh, for the sake of time I'm not going to use um, the entire pulp but what I'm going to do now is I'm going to keep this for like a good 5 to 10 minutes and once I feel the tightness that's when I'm going to wash it off. So since I'm experimenting all of this with you guys today I have to keep it for 5-10 minutes and then get back. So I'll get back. Alright, I'm back. So, after 10 minutes, I removed that uh, pulp, the orange pulp from my face and my skin already feels tight. In fact, this is the perfect time and you can also add some uh, exercises for your face, like facial exercises because your skin is already like nice and tight. Um, let's move on to the homemade mask. So, the first one that I'm going to show you is, um, actually, let's start with the width the orange and um, lemon pulp mask so um, whatever is the, uh, the peel mask sorry so the peel that's remaining of orange you crush it and then uh, you know and then you can also crush the remainder of your lemon from your morning lemon drink uh, this is optional if you don't want too much of vitamin C that's fine but I just you know I have an orange juice I have uh, lemon tea in the morning so why not so I just made it made that pulp together then maybe I'm going to use this bowl so that I can make all my mask in one bowl and um, show you forward. So what you do is just take, I just have extra so I can use it tomorrow. But just take like um, probably just one spoon. Uh, let me actually show you the spoon measurement. So just take this one spoon. I'm going to put it on my lap so I can show you. And then one spoon of orange peel actually you can just take two two spoons of orange peel because I like the fragrance of orange and then now to make this mask nice and um, you know because you can't apply just the peel on your skin it's not going to stick so what you're going to do is you're going to take a little bit of honey I, I don't know if you can see it there's honey here I'm going to just take 
like tiny spoon so like it's off and I'm kind of mixing it and I'm also going to take a little bit of yogurt that's option again you can literally just make orange uh, lemon and honey mask but I'm just gonna add some yogurt you can literally add yogurt in every mask of yours it's really half half a spoon okay so now I'm just mixing it so mix 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 So it's gonna because mine is not very powdery. Um, if yours is like very powdery, then it will be quickest. Mine is not very powdery, so it's almost like uh, like cold cold slaw salad. <laughs> so I would call this a salad. You take the salad now, put it on your face. So mostly I use an applicator when my mask uh, have good consistency, and then you can just apply. In this particular one, I have to use my hand because the pulp is not very minute. What you do is you just literally apply it. So you can see, and I know some of this will fall because I haven't put enough honey. Whatever sticks, keep it. And you can add some more honey if yours is not sticking. So once I'm done applying with this mask, I am just going to take a chill pill and I'm going to keep it for 15 minutes so that this becomes dry. And then I'm just going to softly remove it. So don't rub it too hard when you remove it. Just like really soft. Um, if, if you have the very powdery form, then you can actually store it in the fridge. Uh, because you're like, especially in the summer, you have to store it in the fridge. And you can keep reusing. I like the powdery form more because it sticks faster. But today I just made this fresh orange juice. So I just wanted to show it to you guys how to make it in the fastest way possible. Where you don't have to put in too much hard work. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to just keep this. For a good 10-15 minutes and then I'm gonna wash it off. So I'll see you back. Alright, so I washed off my face and I don't know if you can see but I can totally see the difference already. You can see it right away. Alright, so now I'm gonna make a coffee mask. So for that all you need is um a prop two tablespoon of any coffee, any coffee that you have at home. So it's one tablespoon and then two. And then I'm, uh, so in this bowl you can see there's like two tablespoons of coffee and then I'm just going to take like your milk you're not going to drink this coffee you're going to put this on your face so just take one tablespoon of milk because you need a little bit of uh, thicker consistency and you can mix a little bit more milk if when you're mixing you know so mix 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 and um, Make sure that it's not like uh, so. If you, so, if it's too slippery like this, then you can just add a little bit of more coffee. So, make it like maybe three tablespoons because you need that thickness. So, don't try to mix too much too. So, yeah. So now I've made it like a thick paste, and all you're gonna do is use the applicator. It's so simple. While you're making your coffee, you can just quickly make this. Um, you're not putting sugar in there. Uh, because ideally if you can if you put sugar then it will become like a scrub so you can totally uh, apply it in while you're taking a shower and scrub your body but because the purpose of this one is face mask I'm just gonna not put any sugar so I'm just gonna take my applicator and literally just start applying oh wow I just love the fragrance of coffee give me a kick and you just start applying this so simple right and coffee masks you can read about it a lot of celebrities are doing it first of all so first of all coffee masks are very easy to make at home so a lot of celebrities are doing it too and the results are great because again coffee also works for your skin tightening plus it's got a lot of antioxidants so your skin is going to rejuvenate right away you just have to keep it for 15 minutes apply it on, apply it on all of the areas including your neck please don't ignore your neck and I know it might get a little dirty, but don't do this if you have a carpet floor. 
and you can even apply this one on your nose. You might look a little scary. So try not going near your better half or your boyfriend or your husband. Uh, so do it in private if you are somebody who um, is very conscious. I'm okay. I'm going to roam around in the house this way. I might take a picture too, <laughs> send it to all of my friends and say, there's ghost here, what's up? <laughs> and I'm also putting it on my head. Uh, make sure that your hair doesn't get in the way. Coffee sticking to the hair is not great. Not a great experience. All right, um, avoid the eyebrow area. Okay, I'm, I know I'm totally looking funny, but the result is gonna be so good that I'm totally okay doing this. So um, I'm gonna keep it for 10 minutes and then I'm gonna get back to you guys and let you know what my experience was. Okay, so after you have removed the coffee mask and you have pat it all dry, I'm gonna now move forward to the next, uh, next mask, but if you do it at home right after coffee mask or any other mask that I've showed today, you have to apply a moisturizer. So I'm gonna apply moisturizer at the end of this experiment. So for now, let's move on to our next mask. And it's our favorite mask, a lot of celebrities use it. It is probably um, the invention by India. Uh, it came originally from India, and I know I think I saw Priyanka Chopra using it too. So it must be good. Uh, all you need is turmeric. So you're gonna take, uh, in your uh, face mask bowl, you're gonna put one uh, tablespoon of turmeric. Uh, and by the way, the coffee mask also does not leave any stain on your face, nor would this turmeric. So don't worry about it. I know it, they do leave stain on your clothes, but not on your face. And then you're gonna take, um, it's basin. What's the English term for basin? I don't know. B-E-S-A-N is what I call it as. Uh, I'll have to find out and I'll probably put it in the description. Um, apologies. So you will take one tablespoon of basin flour and then you can probably add a little bit more if uh, you're not getting that thick paste. So maybe I'll do one and a half. And then you're gonna take yogurt. So this is like the god of all masks. If, especially if you have a party to go to, you can totally use this mask. And yogurt and that basin powder, flour actually, not powder. Uh, so, uh, half tablespoon yogurt, the basin in combination with the flour, it kind of helps the mask to stick. And just because I have honey here, I'm gonna add honey because ideally in this mask you can add a lot of stuff together. So, oh my honey has become a little bit dry, like I'll have to use my hand. Traditional way. Okay. So, now I'm gonna mix. So mix, mix, mix. So, I'll see how, if I'm getting that consistency that I need. If not, I'll add some more yogurt or I'll figure it out. So I'm still mixing while I'm mixing. Uh, feel free to comment below my channel if there's any other masks that you guys have tried because I would love to try them. I've been experimenting a lot these days um, and I would love to make a video of any of the masks that you think I should show. So I think I have got a nice paste already. Um, so let's try how this works. So I'm gonna... Um, then I'll make it up. So I'm gonna take some. Oh, perfect, lovely. This is the consistency that I wanted. Uh, you can totally take this even in, like, under your eye. Right. You can apply it everywhere and feel done. Oops, did I mess up? I'll have to do a lot of cleanup after. And, uh, it's not turmeric and rice, so you should be okay. Um, now with this mask, I think you turn a little bit fair as well. Your skin becomes a little bright. And turmeric again has a lot of antioxidants. I think I have realized that whatever you put, whatever you eat, like the good stuff that you eat and drink, like for example, I drink turmeric in my uh, daily lemon water as well, I put like one spoon of turmeric. So I have realized that everything that you drink and eat, you can totally apply it on your face. 
totally. So, um, there are a lot of people who make lip masks. So if you have some remain, remaining, you can put it on your lip too. I'm gonna put it at the end. Turmeric lip masks are amazing. Don't let anything go wasted. Make use of it. There's also a mask with Pareto peel and stuff. Like you can rub Pareto peel on your face too. So probably start watching on what you eat and drink every day and what you what kind of food you make. Uh, there is a possibility that you can totally use the peel or um, anything of the vegetable that you make and make a mask out of it. Don't just throw it in the trash. And then if you have made some, please let me know. I would love to try. Alright, so now I'm done here. I'm just going to keep it for again 5-10 minutes and I'm going to let you know what the result is. Alright. See you back. Alright, so I removed the mask, um, the turmeric mask and now I'm, I just have this hot towel and I'm just going to put it on my face here. First of all, it's well, let me speak first. <laughs> first of all, it's very relaxing and then now this hot uh, towel just uh, absorbs every new, every ingredient that you put. So it's really good at relaxing. All right, and then you can just remove the, if there's anything extra left. So, these were my three masks, the coffee mask, the orange peel mask and the turmeric mask that you could easily do it at home. And once I'm done with that, I, you have to moisturize. So I normally use um, the moisturizer by this company called Seamish. Um, I don't know if you can feel, let me try to bring it a little closer. Yeah. So Seamish and because I love their watermelon so I'm gonna quickly apply that it comes with an applicator so you can quickly apply that it's watermelon and the bottle looks like that I love it pinkish like serum and gel kind and right after this I also like to put their under eye cream, so I'm gonna quickly show it to you. Um, these Korean products, Korean skincare company, they have a uh, they have three or four products that you should use together uh, for best results. So it's like a sequence. So once you're done with the moisturizer here, I'm gonna apply apply the marine. Uh, marine care eye cream under eye cream it comes with an eye massager so it kind of under eye massager so it looks like this and I'm gonna quickly apply this don't forget your under eye especially if you have cross sorry all right so you can first just take it to the other side apply it and then use this massager to kind of just spread it and it feels so good so just do it like five times it comes like in this bottle and it's like green color I think you can see it so now I'm going to take the other side apply that and do the same stuff And this massager really helps in uh, getting this ingredient in. And if you have some extra, you can just uh, use your finger, the traditional method. Yeah. And now, right after this, the way I end, that's the best thing I like about Hemish. Uh, they have this amazing. Um, let me show it hydrogen well actually hydrogel eye patch uh, made out of Bulgarian rose water and I'm gonna quickly show it to you I'm gonna I'm just gonna put it it's like an eye peel you just put it under your eye and then you can just relax for 20 minutes you can close your eyes or you could even watch Netflix um, it doesn't fall off 
it sticks under your eye so all of your eye bags or anything they would just you know disappear this is my last step uh, it comes with a spatula because you can see it's very delicate let me show it to you see how it looks it's like jelly very gel like and you can't remove it with your hand so you need to make use of this spatula so i'm going to try removing it right now Okay, I've got one. I bought one. And you take it. All right. So I have it applied on one side. It's very transparent. You can totally roam around in your house with this. And then I'm taking the other one. You have to keep this one for 30 to 45 minutes, and you know I don't know if you can see it's got some moisturizer and liquid inside this too. So every time if I have a shoot, I and if I have to wake up early in the morning, I literally put this for the first 20 minutes, and then I start doing my makeup. All right, so that's it. As you can see, my skin routine is over. Um, uh, my skin is obviously feeling a little bit rejuvenated now it's moisturized and I normally do this routine like uh, probably three times in a week uh, if you could do it you know uh, at least two times in a week that would be great too and I hope you like these masks and all of the routine that I showed along with it uh, I would uh, include the description of all the ingredients I used in um, in my description uh, and um, if you have any questions reach out to me keep liking keep commenting I love to see your comments and keep subscribing to D Rocks TV show bye now